Hi there, welcome to our today's video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can be able to file returns for any government employee. And if you are interested in any cyber service or graphics design service, please make sure to contact us. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing to do is to look for the P9 form and that's why I'm logging in to the public service portal to get the P9 form. I'll click on log in and uh, yes, just save and then I'll come here, sorry, here and then click on P9 forms and uh, I have P9 form for 2023 and that is what we want. And uh, so the next thing, let me just check down here. Yes, it's okay. Uh, let me print it for my copy so that I can also have a uh, way I can confirm and then for you I'll be showing you online. Okay, so I've been able to print. I'll come back to KRA and then I'll log out uh, of um, this account then click here to log into another account and I'll enter the KRA pin which is a0107 and just um, like that. Then I'll click on continue. I'm going to insert the password, which is, uh, yes, just like that. Then I'll put the arithmetic, um, which is uh, 82 and click on log in. And uh, this website uses cookies. It's okay. Click I understand and click submit. We've been able to log in. And so the next thing to do is now uh, just, yes, click on returns and come to file returns. And here uh, on tax obligation, I'm going to put their income tax resident individual and then click next. And here we are told click on one of the links below to download the return form, fill the Excel or ODS return form, provide the details requested, upload the Excel or ODS return using a browser button, click on submit to file that. So you can decide to either click here to download Excel or click here to download ODS. We are going to download uh, Excel. So I'll click there and it's been successfully downloaded. I'm going to locate it. And what I do now is to extract and click uh, just like that and come back here and open the extracted one. This is the file that we are going to use. So all I need to do is to just double click to open it and uh, it will open this Excel sheet. Just a minute. Okay, uh, it's opened in protected view. So I'm going to click on enable uh, just uh, like that uh, security risk. Microsoft has blocked macros. Oh my goodness. So it's not going to do the calculations. It's not going to work. Okay, so I'll close this and then I want to unlock it. So I'll come here and right click on the file, move to properties. And uh, yes, you see down here, click on unlock. All right, just click and click apply, then click OK. You can now open it so that the macros can run. And uh, yes, please do not cut or and paste any values. Yeah, it's OK. We understand. Uh, just click on OK. All right, so it's now good. We can continue. Personal identification number is the pin. So I'm just going to put it here. And uh, yes, um, it's just uh, like that. M. Then the type of return you choose between original and amended. For us, it is original. And then return period from, uh, I'll click here. Uh, we are filing for 2023. So I'm going to click and say um, 01 slash 01 slash 2023. And then I'll click any outside here and then it will load to update that date. Yes, it's done. Then click here and put the return period to which is 31st of December 2023. I'll click outside here and allow it to update that date. Yes. And then leave the others to just read no. Move down. Uh, just move down again, again. Yes. Here you're going to click on next then the pin of employer. The pin of an employer is usually on the uh, P9 form, which is just here. So we are going to write this on the Excel sheet, which is P05. Um, let me check that. Okay, look at that. All right, and then Q. Okay, the name of the employer, it is uh, Kakamega County. 
So I'm going to write here Kakamega County. If it is TSC, you're going to write there TSC. Uh, the gross pay. Okay, so the gross pay is usually the subtotals, okay? So I'm going to, uh, let me just show you down here on the P9 form. You move down here, uh, scroll down here, the subtotals, which is 295620.00, that is our gross pay, all right? So I'm going back to Excel and I'm going to put there the value that we have just seen uh, back there, point zero zero, just like that. And then the allowances and benefit from employment is 0 0.00. The value for car is already put there zero. So I'm going to move to net value of housing, which is um, 0 0.00. Then uh, let me, let me, okay, let me click here first. Then I want to minimize this, uh, not uh, just a minute. Okay, so the pension if in excess of 300,000, okay, that is zero, of course, it's not excess of 300,000. And uh, yes, it will have to calculate here the total employment income, which is A plus B plus C plus D plus E, and it gives us like that. So the next thing to do is to just scroll down and click on next. And here again, we are asked the pin of employer. I'll just click on this arrow and choose the pin of the employer. The name of the employer, I repeat, it's Kakamega um, County, um, just like that. Then the taxable salary. The taxable salary is also on the P9 form, which is just the subtotals. So if I can just show you quickly, the subtotals is equals to the taxable salary. So I'll just move here and put in the value, which is 295.620.00. Then the tax payable on taxable salary, we are going to do some calculations here. So I'll get you back to the P9 form. So here we are going to take the total pay, pay as you earn, which is 1725.50. Then we are going to add it on the MPR value, which is the total value, and that is 28,800. So I'm going back here and I'll put the sum of the two, which is uh, uh, 305, um, okay, 23.50. Okay, the amount of tax deducted, which is paye, is just the total paye. So we'll uh, just get it from the P9 form, which was, let me just show you, which was 17, it's, it's right here, 1723.50. And I'm just going to put it right here, 1723.50. And then the amount of tax payable, which is A minus B, that is tax payable minus amount of tax that gets us the total MPR, okay? And, and I can just prove to you uh, here, you see the MPR, move down, you get the total, which is just what we've got here, okay? You need to now scroll down and click next. And on section Q, we are not going to fill anything. So we will move down and click on next. Now we are on tax computation. We are going to fill two things, that the pension contribution, which is 0, 0.00, and uh, then move down uh, to look for personal relief. Um, it's here, personal relief, uh, which is the total MPR, okay? So if you get back here, the total MPR is the personal relief. So you'll go back to Excel and fill in 28, 800.00 and then we move down here the tax to be paid will be calculated and for this case it is too much so if the value is positive you have to pay uh, a KRA if it is negative KRA owes you so I want to check and find if there was any error so if I get back here everything is okay let me move to F and in F I have that I have that um, yes, here. We were to fill here uh, the income from January to June. And let me just show you from the P9 form. So we have to add these values from January to June. Okay. And then later on, we will add from July to December. Okay. So that's what I had forgotten. And also the pension, we are going to do the same. So we'll get back to uh, Excel 
and do the calculations. So let me get back here. So the uh, January to June salary, I had already added that, which gave us this uh, value. Then the January to June pension, uh, it reads zero. So it's going to just remain as zero. If you get back to the P9 form, remember it's zero, okay? So get back here, July to December income, You'll, I also added this, so I'm going to put it there, and it's just uh, like that. Then July to December pension, you'll have to add, let me just show you, you have to add this, okay, which is giving us 6480, and then I'm going to write it here, uh, 6480.00, okay? That's what I had forgotten, all right? So I need to now come and click on next, and here, everything is fine so i'll just click on next here we are feeling nothing so we're going to click next and so here we find the pension is 0, 0.00 the relief is 2800 and it has been adjusted to 1348.5 oh uh, but is it okay i really don't know let me check let me cross check. Okay, the pension contribution was 6480. So that's what I want to update here and then move down. Yes, it's been updated. It's now a negative figure, which is now fine. We can now validate this. At least uh, we are safe. Okay, so we don't forget to update that. So you, you find that this figure is also on the P9 form. Everything is, is on the P9 form. Okay. So I was just proving this to you. So I'll move down now to go and validate. I think that's fine. Let me validate this. And uh, sheets are ready to be uploaded. Do you want to generate upload file? Yes, yes. So I'll click on yes. And it's been saved. So that's fine. Now we need now to upload this. Let me first show you. Here is the file. Okay. So we get back to Chrome and... Uh, we are going to log in again. It has logged us out. So we shall log in. And uh, yes, just like that. Click on continue. And then I'm going to put in the password. And uh, okay. Then the arithmetic. Uh, okay. So on 29, click on login. Now we need to file the returns to upload the file. Click on returns, then file returns. And then uh, tax obligation, again, it is income tax, resident individual, then click next. And here we'll move down and uh, the return period from is okay, it's fine. Click on choose file. And then we are going to locate where our file has been saved. Move down here, here it is, okay. Then click on open. And uh, we are going to uh, check this. Uh, to agree to the terms and conditions, then click submit. Do you want to upload the form? Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't want this. So I'll click on this link to download the receipt. And here is the receipt. We can see the PIN, the return period, and of course, this value. Okay. You remember this value where we got? Here it is. And it's reflecting on the receipt. So that means we've been able to file returns and I need just to print this for my client. And it's as simple as that, okay? It's not complex and uh, it's something you can do. Uh, I hope you'll follow the steps uh, as I've explained. And if you find any difficulty, don't hesitate to reach out to me. We can be able to help you. And if you also want us to file for you, if you're not sure, let us file for you, okay? It is at an affordable price. And also, if you are interested in graphics design services, please make sure to reach out to us on the contacts that you're seeing on the screen. If you found value in this video, please don't forget to like it. Also, share it to your friends and family so that they can learn this skill. And again, most importantly, subscribe for more videos. And the next thing I want you to do is to click anywhere on the screen to watch our next video and i'm pretty sure that i'll see you in that video peace